You can never know what's big and what's small, what's clean and what's dirty, unless you compare it to something else. If it sounds a bit confusing, the internet is full of examples. Here's what a t-shirt turns into after 156 swimming lessons. I guess the person wearing it must be either an instructor or practicing for the Olympics. If your teeth were perfect since the day you were born, you probably have no idea what this one is even for. Meet Retainer. You're supposed to wear it after you take your braces off to keep your teeth straight. And if you don't want your retainer to look like this, try brushing it with a paste of water and baking soda on the inside and the outside. It should save your retainer from odors and bacteria. Here's what eight months of intensive use can do to a pair of sneakers. I once saved my favorite shoes with a mix of baking soda and water, and I separately washed the shoelaces in a bowl of the same solution. Not sure if these sneakers here can be rescued though. The soles of your favorite pair of sneakers also need some love and care because they will otherwise look like this after just one year. So, from time to time, beat them together to remove clumps of dirt. Then, scrape what's left with a toothbrush. Finally, prepare a mixture of warm water and liquid dish soap and soak your shoes in this bath for 15 to 20 minutes. Let them air dry on a clean, dry towel. And that's it. Okay. This one leaves us with a lot of questions. The owner of the case says they've been using it for six years. But what on earth were they doing to turn it from crystal clear to this, uh, shade of brown? I guess I don't really want to know. Here's what can happen to ear pads after three years of enjoying music. If you don't want to replace your ear pads too often, you gotta take good care of the leather part. You can wipe your ear pads after use to get rid of skin moisture and sweat. Simply rubbing them against your t-shirt should do. You can also wipe them with a soft washcloth once a week. And never leave them in direct sunlight or extreme heat. This leather here is most likely artificial, and it's not designed to withstand high temperatures. Do you also have a plush friend that has been with you for your entire life? This monkey on the left is 17 years old, and this doodle bear on the right is even older. It just celebrated its 27th birthday. It certainly got some character with time. If you don't want your beloved teddy to age, you can try giving it a spa treatment. Put it in a mesh laundry bag or zippered pillowcase and choose the most delicate cycle your washing machine has. Make sure the water is cold or else your friend can change its color dramatically. Once it's done, wrap it in a towel and let it air dry. One internet user posted a picture of an apple from their local orchard compared to the one from the grocery store. Same story with this blackberry bought at a store versus a homegrown one. But does bigger mean better or more dangerous when it comes to fruit and veggies? Well, supermarket greens are often bigger and heavier than your homegrown produce, thanks to selective breeding and industrial fertilizers. But it doesn't mean they have more nutritional value or are healthier. Plus, they might be chemically treated to be stored longer and even travel to the other side of the world unharmed. Sometimes, size does matter. This difference between an egg from a two-year-old hen and a pullet just starting egg laying is so visible. I guess practice makes perfect. Which of these basketballs would you choose to play with? The new one sure looks better, but the five-year-old version has a history. Dollar bills used to be way larger in 1917, and here's the proof. A $1 bill normally circulates for around six years. It's the longest it can survive because it's made of a special cotton and linen blend and rarely sits in one pocket for a while. The $100 bill has a lifespan of 15 years before it goes back to the Federal Reserve. These wool blankets used to be twins 20 years ago, but then they went their separate ways. One was well used and the other one was in storage. If you want your wool blanket to last longer and look great, 
refresh it every once in a while. Take it outside and shake it well before you hang it somewhere with good airflow. Lay the blanket flat on the floor and brush it with a soft bristle brush. If your blanket is machine washable, choose the gentle wool wash cycle, cold water, and special wash detergents. Don't hang it to dry in direct sunlight. It can dry too quickly, fade, and become coarse. And the dryer is an absolute no-go. Cat lovers, this one's for you. Look how the red light disperses through white fur compared to black fur. By the way, pure white cats are the rarest, and white cat fur isn't actually white, it's colorless. That's why the laser light can play with it like this. And that's also why white cats and cats with white spots are more likely to get a sunburn. So keep yours away from the bright sun. I wonder how long it took for this new and shiny remote to turn into this, well, not so good looking one. Ah, this guy needs some good cleaning with wet wipes anyway. Remotes collect more bacteria than your toilet seat because you touch them more often and hardly ever clean them, right? I'm getting Alice in Wonderland vibes. This key looks too small and this one is too big compared to the usual one. But I guess different sized doors open with different sized keys. If you like cooking, I want to say sorry in advance. This is what pans can look like after six years of intensive use without proper cleaning. I guess a mixture of one tablespoon of baking soda and a few drops of dish soap in hot water could help solve this problem. You gotta let the pan soak in the mix overnight for maximum effect, and then scrub away the debris. This coffee grinder brush was definitely used for four years. Just compare it to the new one. Do you clean your coffee grinder regularly? Remains of coffee and coffee dust build up in there and change the taste of your coffee brew. And if you use the same grinder for spices, then you'll also feel their taste in your coffee. But you can easily clean your grinder if you run uncooked rice in it from time to time. It will collect all the stuff that doesn't belong there, and your brush won't look like this. Do you like Smarties? Then you'd be happy to find this extra large one in your pack, I guess. Oh, looks like someone took a photo of my favorite pair of Converse and doll shoes. Wait, it turns out that these aren't for dolls, but for women. Three-inch shoes were a beauty standard in China for a thousand years. To make their feet slip into specially shaped lotus shoes like these, women had to go through foot binding. They say this fashion was inspired by a court dancer who lived in the 10th century. The idea took off and a small foot soon became a sign of a distinguished lady in the country. Someone must have used this reverse osmosis filter a lot. And yes, I already googled reverse osmosis for you and it's a system for removing contaminants from unfiltered water. Water passes through a membrane, which keeps all the bad stuff from getting into your glass. I guess it's time to replace this filter. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.